We have two Polyvision Eno boards uh, in 12008 uh, VFW Parkway building. Uh, the first one, uh, they're both on the third floor in the two, comp two classrooms that we have. If you use a Polyvision board, what you need to do is talk to one of the uh, classroom and media support staff to borrow a poly, oh, to borrow a pen. This is a, a stylus pen that, that actually matches uh, with each board. Uh, and in order to use the board, you do need to use this special pen. So when you tell CMS staff which, uh, which board you're using or which classroom you're in, so, and then we'll give you the matching pen. Once you're in the classroom, you, you need to turn on the projector and then log into the classroom computer here. So you took the pen out, and you might want to focus on there. So you notice that the uh, you, uh, you notice that there's a little LED light right here. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open the cap or the pen, and then once you see the light is green solid, so that means the pen is ready to be used. If you see a green light is flashing, uh, then that means the pen is not yet be ready, or it's something, there's something wrong with the connection with the computer. In that case, what you want to do is to Close the cap again, wait for a couple seconds, reopen the cap again, and wait till the light to be green solid like this. Now once it's done, follow me to the board, and tap anywhere on the board. If, you, if it's the first time being a while that you haven't used this board, and the board will automatically prompt you for a green screen like this, that's asking you to, collect, to, to calibrate the pen. So you'll notice that there's a little cross on the top. So what you need to do is just point the cross. It works exactly the same way like when you first set up your smartphones. It's asking you to tap the cross so it will know how, you, how big is the board and the projection of the board and how you see, how, how you can coordinate between your pen and the way you see. Once the, the calibrating is done, you'll see the screen back to normal, back to itself. At that time, your, your pen is now acting as your cursor, which you can now move everything around. Like for example, I want to move this logo. You tap it, it's just like a single click. So I can move this around. It's just a little mouse, using this mouse. So, and then if you want to do a single click, you just tap it once as a single click. If you want to open, if you want to do a double click, tap it twice. That's double click. To right click to, uh, an icon, usually it happens if you use a mouse, is to click and hold. See, now it opens up the stop menu. That's the right clicking. So, same thing on the screen, anywhere. When you're holding the pen to write, especially during the cursor mode, you notice that, you know, if you can see this, the little laser like the little optical lens right underneath where the uh, pen is that's how if how, that's how it knows where the pen is relatively on the board it and then it has to be in a certain angle so for example if you are most times you'll be fine like that but when you're double clicking you may want to make sure that the pen is tilted so that it's uh, perpendicular to the board so, there it is. The next thing I'm going to introduce to you is the um, tools that we have for the uh, board, the functions. So, there are two different modes for the Polyvision Uno board. One is in the cursor mode, basically using your pen as a cursor, like what I just demonstrated before, as a mouse, as a cursor. Or you can use it as a marker. So to switch or toggle between a cursor and a marker mode, you need to use these tools here. Uh, these are a little uh, magnetic strip, so you can put it anywhere else, actually. It's not, it's not attaching anything. And each icon represents a different tool. So the first one is to toggle between a marker and a cursor. It looks like a little line and a little, little cursor error. So that tells you there's a toggle uh, between a cursor and a marker. By default, when you first start it, it's always a cursor mode. Like what we just demonstrated before. But now I want to toggle it into a marker mode. So I click, tap it once, and now this is in marker mode. How do you know it's a marker mode? Easy. 
now you can write anywhere. Obviously, the default for the marker is always black color-wise. So you can, you can always change the color. Uh, you can change the red, like this little red line thing right here. Tap it once, now you have marker in red. Tap blue once, now it's in blue. Tap green once, now it's in green. And tap black again, back to black. Then next thing we'll do is change the thickness of it. So this is the standard thickness. But, let's see, tap once, this is a thinner thickness. Tap the middle, that's the medium that we just have by default. And tap the large circle here, now we have the thick one. We can s switch back and forth between solid lines and dashed lines, so a straight line like this, that's a, straight, that's a solid line obviously, and a dashed line like this, tap once. Now you have dash lines. Oops, there it is. And then we can also erase it. So we have a little erase icon right here. It was a little circle and a big circle. It's basically, obviously, it's just a small eraser and big eraser. So if I wanted to find, erase it. And, or of course, I wanted to erase in a larger area, type the bigger circle. And of course, for me, I'm lazy, so I just tap this icon right here and erase the whole thing. In marker mode, um, you can also, if you don't have, like for example, tools here offer you three basic colors plus block. But say that you want to create your own color, which is doable as well. There's a little color plating right here. It's called color palette. Click that once. So now it gives you a little more uh, choices, basically. The next thing is, uh, in the marker mode, uh, we can also set up whiteboards uh, using the, uh, the tools here. Uh, again, remember that there's two different modes you know, using polyvision board. One is the cursor board, basically using the pen as a mouse, and then the marker mode, which you can draw, we can draw or write on the board and then use, we use this as a toggle between different modes. Now in marker mode, what you can also do is create whiteboards, as we said before. So once you're in the marker mode, click the back arrow. It's kind of weird, uh, it's back arrow, but that's how it works. Click back arrow once, and basically you replace the desktop with a whiteboard. So now, instead of a, a computer desktop, you, you're you actually can write on it. So let me uh, just do a, a standard. So and as you can see, it works just like a marker pen. And then you can change the color. In our room, this this is a a high tech board. Uh, we have five virtual whiteboard. Uh, so let's say that this is board number one. So we're just gonna put a little marker right here. Uh, I mean, make it black so it's even more obvious. It's board number one. Now we can go back one more time by hitting the back arrow. It's reversed for some reason. It was designed like this way. I'm not sure why, but just bear with me here. Tap once. Now you're on a second board. So let me put it in big number two here. And then, remember we have five virtual boards. So, back one more time. Three, four, and five. Okay, so how do I get my old board back? How do I get all the stuff I've written in the other boards? So, here's the second error going forward. So going backwards is the new board, going forwards is the old board. See, so now you're moving to the ones that you had previously. Three, two, and one. So you have five boards. You can switch back and forth to write or take note of whatever you need to do. I, ha I have like many different things right on this board and I, I, wanna, I wanna keep it. So there's two ways to keep this. You can save it to the desktop or you can print it. 
So to save, here's the two icons here. The little printer thing, obviously, is to print this current screen. And to save is to save whatever you have so far. Now, to see the file that you just saved, so now we have to go back to the cursor mode to see the desktop. So I can just toggle it. It automatically goes back to desktop. Here, it's saved as a PDF. So here's the screen. So it looks like the same thing that when you save the, um, the screenshot, you only save the screen that you're in right now. So if you want to save all the things you have written about, you have to go back to the other screens and hit save as well. The way that it was designed, so it's allow you to easily switch back and forth between your desktop and your whiteboard. So let's say I want to go, so let's say I did something in my desktop and now I want to go back to whiteboard again. Again, toggle the cursor and marker, uh, cursor and marker uh, switch. Uh, and then you can go back in. And then um, whenever you're done, hit toggle again, back to desktop. Sometimes you need to, let's say that you want to show the school a website. You want to show your class a website, but I'm going to type with a, a single pen. There's two ways you can do it. In each classroom, they, there's always a Bluetooth keyboard available, set up already right here for you. If you want, you can type it just like a standard keyboard. Or if you're not into a real keyboard, we also have virtual keyboard. So let's say that I want to show school our website. So I double click. There it is. Got to get that written. <laughs> and now I want to search MSPP. So now I need to, I need, I need a keyboard. So come here and open up a keyboard right here by tapping the keyboard icon. And there it is. So let's say I want to type mspp.edu. Okay. And what works, works like just like a standard keyboard. I can just click on it and I can do anything, but then whenever I need a keyboard back again, I just need to tap on anything in, bring back the keyboard. You can toggle between cursor and marker mode, but you don't have to write on the whiteboard, you can also write on the desktop. So it's a very nice tool. Like if you are showing your classes on like an article on the website or something like that, and then just need, and you want to mark something or emphasize something, so you can always toggle back to the marker mode again, and then see the cursor disappeared. I probably didn't catch it on the video, but the cursor disappeared. And then choose the size of pen, and I want to emphasize this part here. Uh, again, two different modes, marker and cursor. You have to remember that. You need to toggle between the marker and cursor if you want different functions. You use the cursor mode to navigate the windows, to navigate a desktop, to open up the files, to browse the uh, internet and show your students content on the internet on my campus. And then you can toggle into uh, marker mode to, to highlight, to draw, to write on the board, and also to open up the whiteboard features by in the marker in the marker mode by uh, tapping the, uh, the the arrows and again the back arrow to open up a new whiteboard and the forward arrow to move back to the older whiteboard just want to remind you everything we talk about it's actually on the polyvision menu that was that is published on the CMS website uh, we have detailed explanation of what to do on each uh, what to do to set up the uh, the pen and the board and also uh, how to use the pen.